I'm Oliver Heath, an eco-designer and working with Andrex Eco to promote sustainable living. And this is my 1960s house, which I've completely refurbished, making it more energy efficient, cheaper to run, warmer, and I think more beautiful. Now, whilst this is upcycling on a grand scale, there's loads of little things that you can do every day that can make a huge difference. Come and take a look. Research shows that 40% of us Brits would like to be more eco-friendly, but we think it's too expensive. In reality, it's just about being more conscious of the basic resources that we use every day. Take hot water, for example. We pay to buy it, we pay to heat it, and we pay to get rid of it. So the less we use, the more we save. And nowhere is this more relevant than in the bathroom. There are lots of ways that you can cut your water use in the bathroom by up to a third, whether it's by using a dual flush toilet, low flow shower head, aerated taps in the basin, or even fitting one of these things, a shower timer, to help you cut the average length of your shower from seven minutes down to just four. Another good tip to create eco bathrooms is to think about recycling. Whether that's using recycled products like Andrex Eco, even remembering to use two bins, one for conventional waste, the other for recycling packaging, like toilet roll tubes and plastic bottles. With their hard surfaces and clean lines, bathrooms can often feel a little bit sterile, but by using upcycled materials like these French chateau shutter doors or a vintage mirror, you can go a long way to create a room that has character and identity. So what is upcycling? Well, upcycling is the art of taking products or materials whose useful life has expired and finding creative ways to give it a new lease of life. And it can be anything, from whole walls of upcycled timber, to mirror frames made out of old teapots, to the little things, like creating candles out of vintage bone china teacups. So think about it. What could you upcycle to add value in your home? It's smart, stylish, and sustainable. Zoe from Eco Thrifty Living asks, what's my favorite upcycle project in my own home? I really love this vintage Urkel sofa. I found it on an online auction site. We sanded it down to take it back to the natural timber because generally these pieces are covered in a really thick, unpleasant, heavy varnish. Uh, we then recovered the cushion covers, covered it in fleeces, made some lovely cushion covers for it like that. And one of the great things about buying vintage furniture is it's very often it's just the right size for our British homes. Lots of modern bits of furniture have got oversized and makes it difficult to circulate around the space. For me, this perfectly proportioned vintage Urkel two-seater sofa, it's just a lovely piece to sit in and look out onto the garden. 